Yeah. Let's get started! Yeah. Um, you want to learn about static electricity, you say? Yeah. And why you got that zap for me? Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to do it in a simple and fun way. What is one of your favorite things to play with? Right on spot. Mm -hmm. Because balloon, 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 why, what do you think this balloon is made up of? Yeah. Okay, Adi. Mm -hmm. This balloon and everything else in the world, even you, is made up of the atoms. Atoms? Oh, do you know that? Mm -hmm. Okay, atoms are small, teeny, teeny particles, even smaller than grains of sand. Okay? It's really small. Okay? It's small? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm telling you, it's really small. Abby, did you know that this balloon, hold it, that this balloon you're holding right now is made up of millions of atoms. How many atoms? I don't know Name how many. Number. Abby? Yeah? What do you think is inside atoms? I don't know. Don't worry, Abby, I'm here to tell you. Inside atoms are three things. Positively charged protons, negatively charged electrons, and Neutrally charged neutrons. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, neutron, I'm sorry, neutral means doesn't have any, uh, it doesn't have any charge. Mm -hmm. Adam, you know something? Mm -hmm. You know something? So when an atom is neutrally charged, mm -hmm. it has the same amount of protons as electrons. Okay? Mm -hmm. And if it has more electrons, mm -hmm. negatively charged. Mm -hmm. More protons, Positively charged. Okay, okay. Uh, another interesting thing. Opposite charges attract. Guess what, I mean? what? You use magnets, right? Mm -hmm. They have north and south. Mm -hmm. North and north repel, south and south repel, and north and south attract, right? Mm -hmm. And south and north attract. Right? Mm -hmm. Same thing here. Um, positive and negative attract. Negative and negative repel, positive and positive repel. Okay, let's do a fun experiment. You ready to learn about static electricity with all this information? Yep, and have fun. Static electricity basically is the buildup of charge in one place. Okay, so all this charge comes from one place. Okay, do you know why that happens? No. Well, I'll show you that with a simple experiment. Let's. Uh, you know what the two things you need for this simple experiment? What? The balloon and your hair. What? No way! I'm kidding. Okay, let's start. The steps are even more simple. But the one thing I really need to do. Stay still. Very hard, right? Okay, Abby, it won't hurt, okay? okay. I'm just going to rub this balloon gently on your head. Is it hurting? No. Okay. Tell me if it's hurting so I'll stop then. Okay. And the results? Ooh, you look like a zombie, Adi. Mm. Okay, I'm just rubbing the balloon on Adi's hair. And results? Ooh, Adi, your hair just spiked up. I don't see it. Yeah, I'll take a picture later and show you. Ooh, it's really cool, Adi. Mm. You look really cool. Ooh. It kind of looks like zombie hair. And that? Are you having fun, Adi? No, I'm not, I'm not having fun. And, and the magic must be revealed. Very interesting results. Okay, guys, let me explain how this happened. So, currently the balloon is neutrally charged. And when I rub it on my hair, the hair's electrons transfer to my balloon. And currently, my balloon is negatively charged and my hair is positively charged. I, why do you think my balloon is negatively charged? 
Well, because it has more electrons. The electrons from my hair transferred to my balloon. And now my hair is positively charged. Do you know why the hair is now positively charged? Because it lost the electrons and it got transferred to the balloon. Negatively charged balloon and positively charged hair opposites attract and my hair stands up trying to get to my balloon. Another cool thing, all my hairs are positively charged. So you see, they're not going straight up since positive and positive repel. Each strand is trying to repel from each other. See? Cool, right? Science. Dancing here. Awkward. Awkward, awkward, awkward. I became an experiment today. <laughs> That's a fun thing, experiment. Can I have some more experimenting, Abby? So, Abby, you want to try something else now? Yeah! Okay, this time I'll let you do it. So, these paper strips here are neutrally charged. Okay. And this balloon, we're going to make it negatively charged. Okay. Give me a minute. This is so fun. A lot more rubbing here. Thank goodness. No. Oh. We have a oh, towel. Why do we? Okay. okay wait. And can you hold it? Rub, rub. Okay. Hold, just rub it. Okay, 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 okay. Get ready, Abby. It's time for some rubber rubber. And. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> okay, the balloon is charged negatively. Now, let's go. Ooh, sticking! Magic. Mm -hmm. Magic. Yup a dopey! Yup a dopey! Just magic! Like magic! So, okay guys, let's see why this happened. Uh, okay. Science experiment, Bobby, where are you going? Mm, he said he went away for some reason. Okay, he'll be back. But, let me tell you why. So, the reason why is because, you see this, it's neutrally charged, and this is negatively charged. If you didn't know, neutrally, this became negative charge when I rubbed on Abby's hair, and this contained neutral. The negatively charged balloon attracted these neutrally charged paper strips, and they all dangled on, and that's magical. Magic of science. Oh, uh, where did Abby go? Hey, what are you doing there? <laughs> I'll show you one last simple experiment with static electricity. Abby, stay here! Pause, freeze. You're in the right place for the next experimental. Let's get started. Static! Static! Next experiment time! Okay, Adi, time for another experiment. Mm -hmm. Three things again, but they're different. The balloon, water, and... You know, oh no, but you can't... <laughs> I don't want to. I know. I take my hand. Okay, Ad, this is the last time. Let's get started. Starting. It's time for part one. It's Rubber Mondo. Move it, move it, move it. Rubber Mondo time. Time for the this famous thing known as the Rubber Mondo. Okay, Adi, we're going to make the water dance. Okay. Okay. Next part. Turn the water on. And there's our and uh, oops, we think we need a bit more charge. Mm -hmm. Adi, you're so good at charging stuff. And, look! Dance it. Adi, look, the water's going to the balloon yeah. and getting attracted. Ooh, time to make it dance. Dance like, ooh, ooh, look at 
look at that. Wow, Adi. Tell me why this is happening. Okay, I'll tell you right now. So, the reason why this is happening is the balloon has a negative charge and the water is neutral. As I said, neutral and negative attract. So the water is trying to go to the balloon. And it looks like it's dancing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Abby, isn't it amazing? La, la. Yeah, it's so cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's so impressive. Oh my god. Let's see it go that way. Right? Let's see it go this way. Ooh. Let's see it go. Speedy fast. Ooh. Let's see it go. Speedy fast. Let's see it go zigzag in different ways, like speedy oh, fast. Oh, oh. Okay, guys, I'll, I'll have to tell you a couple more facts, and we'll be done for today. So, guess what? I mean? Lightning is static electricity. Well, what? What lightning? Can I didn't get those yeah. big booms and jumps are all because of static electricity. Okay, Abby, I'll tell you some other day-to-day -day examples of static and electricity. Okay, I'll give you a couple examples. Sitting on a bench, sliding down your slide, uh, let's see, walking on a carpet, and holding a doorknob. So clay cool. Yep. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you all learned something about static electricity. We did some really fun experiments, and we had lots of fun. Well, guys, we'll see you later on Science with Abby and Abby. Thank you for teaching me this all. And you, mister, <laughs> thank you for, learning, for using my hair. Well, thank you. <laughs> that is all that's Hey, want to play balloons? Yeah. Okay, wait, come here, come here, come here. Come back here. Okay, whoever gets this balloon wins.